This is the first strategic plan about domestic abuse that the Glasgow City Health and Social Care Partnership, the HSCP, has produced. Domestic abuse is any form of physical, verbal, sexual, psychological or financial abuse perpetrated by partners, married, cohabiting, civil partnership or otherwise, or ex-partners. It can include physical abuse, sexual abuse, mental and emotional abuse, including coercive and controlling behaviour. Why do we need a domestic abuse strategy? Domestic abuse is a serious problem in our society and can affect anyone of any gender, of any age, from any background. Women and girls are most at risk and the majority of domestic abuse is carried out by men against women. But it's also important to recognise that violence can also happen in same-sex relationships and that men can be victims of abuse too. What are we going to do? We have done a lot of work to prepare our strategic plan with our stakeholders, our staff and people with lived experience of domestic abuse. We have proposed six strategic priorities. 1. Prevention and early help We will improve the way we support families affected by domestic abuse by being able to identify the signs earlier, encourage and support people to seek help as soon as possible. We will work with children and young people to raise awareness of the issues and in particular we will work with boys and young men to help them develop positive and healthy relationships. We will also work with our housing partners to make sure that there are robust procedures in place around domestic abuse. 2. Survivors and people who suffer from domestic abuse we need to make sure that the right services are available to people who need them when they need them and that they are protected from further harm. We will also make sure that our staff are equipped to provide additional support to people who might need a more complex response and similarly for people who traditionally find it more difficult to ask for help. Male victims, older people, people with a caring responsibility or people from different ethnic or faith backgrounds. 3. Those who cause harm Working with men and people who cause harm through domestic abuse is often not seen as core business in many of our services where domestic abuse is a common issue, but this needs to be encouraged more. The HSCP will have a more proactive approach to working with people who cause harm to help them better understand their actions and give them proper support to change their behaviour in the future. 4. The whole life course A whole life course approach means looking at the changes in a person's life over time and looking back at someone's whole life to help understand how their earlier experiences have influenced their later experiences and current situation. The HSCP will carry out some research to look at whole life course domestic abuse and violence in relation to child protection and adult protection, including the impact on older people in order to develop better responses. 5. Working together Our new approach to tackling domestic abuse and delivering our vision means working more collaboratively with our partners across Glasgow, including people who have lived experience of domestic abuse. We will need to get better at collecting and recording information, storing and analysing the data, and sharing this more effectively across services. We will build on the partnership working that already exists, in particular with primary care and voluntary services. It is really important to the HSCP that we find better ways of listening to the voices of people who have lived and living experience of domestic abuse 
and that we get better at asking people what worked, what didn't work, and what was missing for them. 6. Evidence-based approaches Our final strategic priority is to create a whole culture change by making sure that everything we do across all our services is driven by evidence-based approaches and also by working jointly with our staff to establish a change in cultural behaviours, attitudes and values across our workforce. What happens next? We would like to hear your thoughts on this draft strategic plan and we'd like as many different people and organisations as possible to have their say, because tackling domestic abuse is everyone's business. Thank you for watching.